So welcome, everybody. Tonight is our regular Mickey Park Neighborhood Association um, monthly meeting. And um, so welcome. My name is Joni Brooks, and I am uh, your board president. And tonight's meeting is very special. As you can see, we have four special guests tonight. And uh, these uh, men and uh, lady, they uh, are running for District 2 uh, City Council. And so they have come here to tell us a little bit about themselves and to answer questions that the board has put together. So before I turn it over to uh, their opening statement, I'm going to let you know a little bit of how this board is going to be run. Each candidate will have two minutes to give their opening introduction and statement. And then after they're finished, I will ask, ask some questions that the board has put together. It's about four questions. Each of the candidates will have two minutes to address the, the questions. And then after that, we're just going to open it up to, to you guys to ask questions. And again, any questions, well then each candidate will have two minutes to um, be able to answer the question. Stephen right here, who is our vice president, he's going to be the timekeeper. So he's going to give you one minute notice, <laughs> and then a 30 second notice, and then stop. So you may want to have a glance over at Stephen every once in a while while you're uh, answering your question. Okay? Everybody ready? Thank you all for coming tonight, and thank you for being here. Thank you for coming. Let's give him a hand. Good evening, how are you doing? My name is William Crushaw, and I am the candidate for District 2. I currently am an attorney here in the district. My office is located off of East Houston between Olive and Akron. While being in San Antonio, I've been the chairman of zoning, the chairman of stage, as well as involved in many organizations throughout the city. I was once employed with the city of San Antonio in the community initiative department, once out of college. I'm originally from Houston, uh, from south side of Houston, raised by single mother. My mom is from San Antonio. So I spent all my, my summers and my, my vacation time here in San Antonio. That's where I grew the love for San Antonio. That's why I moved back to San Antonio after high school. I went to UTSA, moved back to Houston for law school at Thurgood Marshall School of Law. Once I graduated, took the bar, passed it from the first shot, moved back to San Antonio, opened up my law practice here in the district. I've been a resident of the district. I live in Mankey Park right now. Uh, the reason why I'm running is because in, individuals have approached me saying we need a stronger voice in city council. We need somebody who understands the dynamics of city government. But most importantly, we need somebody that will listen to constituents in our district. That's my role. My role is to listen to you all and be your voice in city council. Not making my own decisions based on what I want to do or what my funding or my donors want to do. It's about us. I'm not doing this for any personal gain. I'm doing it because I care that much about this community. I'm doing it because it's about us, not about me. Together, we can better our communities. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Alan Ward, City Councilman for District 2, and it's good to see you again. Um, it may be surprising to you that Mr. Shaw lives in the neighborhood, but it's not surprising to me, I, or it's also surprising to me as well. Um, I haven't seen him at any of the Mankey Park meetings, and it's been, uh, you know, the last three months I've, I've been here, and I understand the time commitments that it takes to be a council member, because I've served you and your neighborhood in council meetings outside of your, your meetings, in your neighborhood leadership, and developers, people that are trying to move in, and I'm also here to work on your neighborhood conservation district, which is important to your leadership, but also important to you so that you can have a little bit more teeth. Because when the neighborhood worked hard for that neighborhood conservation district years ago, they thought it would do more than it does. And that's seemingly one of the main concerns that I hear from you folks when I come to your meetings, that we thought it was closer to the historic district and we would have some more of that protection for our historic homes, because this is a beautiful, um, quite historic community, and, and you want to keep that integrity, especially in the neighborhood. And I'm working for your neighborhood on numerous zoning cases um, with previous leadership. I think this is the 
fourth president that I've dealt with uh, since I've been uh, the council person for District 2 since December of 2014. And I've uh, also had an open door policy meeting with you at your house, at your uh, place of business, uh, and wherever it needs to be. So I look forward to continuing to serve this neighborhood and uh, the people here tonight and the people that aren't here that are, that are throughout the, the different streets, whether it's on Carnahan or Pershing or on Davis Court. And I look forward to uh, being your council for the next two years when we support and with your open minds. Again, my number, it was gives a couple times, but 210-602-6277, 210-62, Six zero two six two seven seven. Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dory Brown, and yes, I am running. I've been a resident of District Two since like ninety five. Uh, I've been in San Antonio since I was two, and I graduated from Holmes High School and have a degree in accounting from Arnie the Lake University. Um, I'm running because I feel that it could be a change made, um, and I feel I'm up to the job for that. I have served in the community. I'm one of those like behind the scenes people. So a lot of people know me, but then they probably say they don't or they've heard my voice. I've been in radio for 20 years. I've been in public accounting for a long time, and, uh, about 17 years. And prior to that, I was civil service, did drug testing. Currently, I'm the office manager, tax preparer, bookkeeper, HR, and IT person for the county firm of Cooper, Nelson, and Cutler. And so during tax season for me to be running, I have to give a shout out to them for their patience and their understanding that I really do want to help the community. I'm one of those very proactive people, and you will find that I'm one of those people that are generally interested in serving my community. I also serve on the board of the Claude Black Center. Um, I work with the Queen of Soul pageant, one of our Fiesta royalty pageants that helps young girls, you know, become aware and bring them into ladyhood as well, give them scholarships. And as I go out to serve you, I do believe this is serving you, the people, the residents, and just making simply the quality of life within our district better and bringing different advantages and growth to our, to our district as well as reducing the crime. I'm a single parent of a seven-year-old. So I have a very vested interest in this community and how we move forward. Being a previous business owner myself, that's something I always look at as I'm going throughout the community. What else can we bring to District 2 that can be a blessing to the residents as well as the city of San Antonio? So I thank you for this opportunity to be here on this evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Keith Tony. I'm a former councilman here in District 2. I recognize some faces here. As a former councilman, I know what it takes at City Hall. I'm not going to go down there and have stars in my eyes and be bedazzled. That's what happens sometimes. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm proud of the bronze star brought back from Vietnam, but I'm even prouder of the sense of service I brought back. I'm a former Neighborhood Association president. I'm the only one up here who's been on the school board for 15 years. I did that as well. I've lived in District 2 since 2004. I've worked in District 2 since 1994. Three very intelligent folks up here. You don't need me to tell you that. But there are also three very busy folks. Mr. Shaw runs a very successful law firm. Mr. Ward runs a successful nonprofit. And Ms. Brown is very, very busy, as you just heard. As of the 30th of next month, I'll be retired. <laughs> so my singular focus will be District 2. That's it. The only boss I'll have is the woman I wear this ring for. Other than that, it'll be you. So I won't be a part-time council person. Despite their best efforts, I can tell you because I tried it. I was working when I was on city council. It's tough to do, to do it adequately. You can do it, obviously. It's tough to do adequately. You can't serve two masters. Something's going to have to give. With me, you get a full-time council person. And experience matters. Always has, always will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so on to the questions.